Hi, Phyllis here. We're getting ready to go to the South Carolina State Farmers Market and we'll show you how to purchase stuff there. See you in a minute. Okay, we're uh, at the State Farmers Market in South Carolina this morning. We don't have to stop at that little booth because the trucks go through there. Now this is a new facility. It's been open, I don't know, maybe a year. And we are headed for Severin and Sun. And the first area you're going to see are the sheds and also where they have the uh, flowers for sale. Now the sheds are reserved for South Carolina farmers. And you can see those back there. There are the sheds way back in the back. And you can go in there and, you know, buy stuff directly from a South Carolina farmer. Now over here, you're going to see HB Hook. And we're going to go there also. And the other one that we're going to go to, and this is where we're going to get our bananas, is over there at Severed and so. And we're going to go right up to the dock, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can go into the distributor and buy directly from them. And I'm going to do a sweep over here again of the South Carolina sheds, and you can drive right in those sheds and see all the cars over there. And we'll go on a little tour of that in a little while. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm up on the dock at Severed and Sons, and I've called ahead to get my bananas, but I want you to have a look at it, and you can come right up here. And we're going to go in the back and uh, look at their fruits and vegetables. We're going to go right in this door. in here. I want you to see what you have to choose from. And the only thing I'm going to get here is going to be the bananas. See all the apples? Apples have come in. It's uh, about the middle of August. There's some people buying some stuff right there. And you'll have to get a bushel of whatever you buy. There's tomatoes down there. It looks like potatoes over there and grapes. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bananas and then we're going to go to the, another distributor. Okay, we bought our bananas and we decided to get a half a bushel of South Carolina apples. Now, uh, you don't have to worry because they'll load them in the car. And by the way, I didn't want but one banana. He's loaded me two. I just want one. One. Four. All right, I only want one box of the yellow. Just one box. Take one box. Is that not what you ordered before? No, no. We just we just want one box. Take one box out. All right, I'm going to go pay for these. We're getting one box of bananas, and uh, that looks like a half a bushel of South Carolina apples. All right, we'll be back in a little while. We're going to another distributor. Thanks. Okay, we're going to uh, BB Hook right now and get some other stuff, preferably. Uh, this is the place I get my lemon, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're at Hook this morning, and uh, I wanted to show you their choices now. In order to... Uh, pick from all these fruits and vegetables you need to be out here before 9 30 in the morning and that's what I'm after right there a box of lemons and I'm also looking for black grapes <coughs> and I believe I see some right there yeah that's what I'm looking for black grapes and I'm gonna get a box of lemons we have cherries, there's a box of okra, peppers, that looks like a blow, let's see, apples, 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our black grapes and our lemons and we'll be gone now. They'll load it in the car for me. See you in a minute. Okay, we're under the sheds now and I think I'm probably looking for half a bushel of peaches. Now these are gonna be South Carolina peaches. Now I wanted to pan around here and show you. You see this distributor over here? That's not really a distributor. What they've done is gone over to the distributors and bought bushels and then they'll sell them a basket at a time. So you're going to be actually paying retail here. See, they've got little baskets of peppers and little baskets of uh, tomatoes and that looks like scuppernon grapes and South Carolina peaches. Pardon? I still didn't hear you. I said you like what you see. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be buying a, a, a half bushel of peaches over here. I just wanted to show them what you had, okay? okay. All right. All right. All right, now if you look over here, there's some tomatoes, and those are probably South Carolina tomatoes. And I think you can see all back in there. So what you do, people just drive their car in here and stop wherever they want and buy whatever they want. And I'm going to look over here because I just bought black grapes and I'm going to see how much these are. Let me see if I can get someone to wait on me here. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, he's going to walk on. Anyway, these are obviously South Carolina grapes. I'm just going to see how much they are. And I'm also going to see how much the peaches are, because these are definitely South Carolina peaches. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to get someone to wait on me. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, this is Jason, and he's from the Red Rack Boys. And what they do is buy directly from the farmer and then sell here under the sheds at the South Carolina State Farmer's Market. All right, uh, Jason, tell us what, what these grapes are right here. These are called Scuppernaw. Okay. They come from Three Star Vineyards. Uh-huh. And we're getting $30 a basket on each. Yeah. Of course, that, they make great uh, jelly, don't they? Yes, ma'am, yeah, they do. Yeah. All right, let's move This in. is the only size we sell. Okay, it's those, those it's a half foot per basket. All right, and how much is it? Uh, 31 for a half? 30. 30, 30 on the half foot per basket. Okay, they look really good to me. All right, now these are peaches, and where did they come these from? These white peaches come from Strawberry Hill. Okay, where is that? In Chesney, South Carolina. Okay, so they South Carolina from, again. Come from Cooley Farms. Okay, now let's walk on down and see if we can see. Now I call these black grapes. What do you these call? These are called muscadine. These these are muscadine. These are muscadine. Okay, in South they, Carol South, South Carolina. Carolina. They come from South Carolina. Okay. In Charleston. Okay. All right. So you're a type of a middleman, but you really sell cheaper than anything you could get in the grocery store, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Jason. Thanks a lot. Right, I appreciate it. Hi, Phyllis here. We're back from the farmer's market now, and I wanted to show you what we got and what we what we paid for each of the purchases. All right, the first thing we got was um, apples. These are golden delicious apples, and we got these at um, Sievert and Son. Now these, are, of course, are South Carolina apples. These are the black grapes, and they come from California. These are the bananas. Now, I like to get the what they call yellow bananas because a lot of the grocery stores and restaurants get them when they're somewhat green. So I usually call ahead and ask them to save me a box of yellow bananas. They're also cheaper because all I'm going to do is freeze them anyway, and I want them fully ripe when I freeze them. And these are the lemons. Now, the lemons come uh, in, in the particular box I bought, 165 Now, they're usually about 10 more than that in the box. So again, there's the lemons, the bananas, the black grapes that I've been waiting for, and these are from California, 
and the apples are from South Carolina, and that's half a bushel. Now they charge me, um, assuming that a half bushel is 20 pounds, but I weigh them when we got home, and this is actually 23 pounds. Now I want to show you the invoices. This is from Severett Seaver and Son, and here are their hours. I called and wrote that down for you. Monday through Friday, 3.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Saturday, they're open from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. So it's not much time on Saturday. There's what I bought, the bananas. They were Del Monte and the apples, of course, were South Carolina. There's what I paid. And here's how it worked out. The bananas worked out to be 37 and a half cents per pound. And the apples ended up 23 pounds, and they were 65 cents a pound. Now, on the VB hook, there are their hours, Monday through Friday, 4 a.m. to 2 p.m., and Saturday, 5 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. There's what I bought. There's what I paid. And here's how it works out per pound. The black grapes ended up $1.36 a pound, and the lemons turned out to be 19 cents each. Now, there are many other distributors out at the farmer's market, and what you want to go is do is to go directly to the building where the distributors are, rather than going to the little um, under the shed, because if you go there and buy smaller amounts, you're going to actually be paying retail. Usually the savings is about 25%. Now I want to talk about the bananas a minute. The reason I get the bananas in bulk like this is we freeze them. They freeze really well. You don't have to do one thing to them except take them out and put them in your freezer. The peeling will turn dark, but the, the taste of the banana will be the same and we put them in smoothies anyway. So. The lemons, we buy lemons about once every eight months. And I noticed yesterday that in Walmart the lemons were 33 cents each. And I paid 19 cents each. And if you really looked at the extra 10 they usually give you, uh, it was probably more like 18 cents each. So that's really, you know, almost half price. The bananas, uh, grocery stores usually sell those. I think Walmart had them for 59 cents a pound. They rarely go over that, but they know they're not going to make much money at the grocery store off the bananas, so they usually give you a good deal. But I'd rather get really pretty bananas and go ahead and freeze them, and that way, you know, no banana ever goes bad in our house. And the grapes, most of the time you can't find the black grapes in the grocery store. Or they're already sold out. And I have a particular smoothie that I put that in. It's my chocolate smoothie, and I'm going to do a video of that recipe. And the only way you could make that recipe is with the black California grapes. Now, the apples, if you'll notice, they don't have any wax coating on them whatsoever, and I really, really like that. Now, we always put apples pretty much in every type of smoothie we have. So what I'll do is put these in the earthbound containers, those little plastic containers, and stack them up in my refrigerator. And uh, a lot of times I just go ahead and get a bushel if it's in the winter time, and that way I can just keep them out in the garage. But it's August, so I'm going to definitely put those in the refrigerator, and they will keep almost indefinitely as long as they're in the refrigerator. Now, all of these things that we bought were refrigerated and you can actually see some sweat on these apples where we had them in the trunk of the car. Now we, the whole trip took about an hour and a half uh, from the time we went to the farmer's market till we got back and it takes us about 30 minutes from our home to get there. So at your farmer's market you might live closer than, than we do, but it's still worth it to go and get these at the wholesale price. Okay, I'll be back and show you how I do the lemons.